CCIE or die.com. I'm your host, Artec, and welcome to the video edition of What's My Administrative Distance? All right, let's introduce the contestants. IBGP coming in at a whopping 200. EIGRP external at 170. RIP, a very svelte 120. IS to IS 115, although couldn't attend today's competition due to a connectionless network service. He had to attend somewhere. OSPF coming in at 110. EIGRP at 90. EBGP at 20. EIGRP summary at 5, although with some limitations. Static at 1 and directly connected. Has to run around in the shower just to get wet at 0. Let's level the playing field and make sure that everything's fair for our contestants by pinging 192.168.12.1 and ping 192.168.23.3. And we have connectivity. All right. So let's start off with IBGP. And here we go. We'll start with R1. Config T router. BGP 100, neighbor 192.168.12.2, remote AS 100, network 1.1.1.0, mask 255.255.255.0. And BGP is off. All right. Config T router. BGP 100, neighbor 192.168.12.1, remote AS 100, network 2.2.2.0, mask 255.255.255.0. And there we see BGP waddling. Uh, around the bend, he's coming towards the finish line, still hasn't converged yet. Oh boy. That BGP, we're still waiting. Okay. Do show IP BGP. Ah, oh, there he is. All right, waddling right across the finish line. Look at that fat guy go. Okay. So let's do do show IP route. Do show still lagging. There he is, finally at 200. BGP finally gets across the finish line. Now we'll work on external EIGRP. Router. EIGRP1 network 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. no auto router 2 router EIGRP1 network 0 .0 .0 no auto router EIGRP2 network 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 no auto and router 3 included in the mix config T router EIGRP2 network 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 no auto and to get the external routes will router EIGRP1, redist, EIGRP2, router, EIGRP2, redist, EIGRP1, do show IP route on R1, and there we have the 170, and second, or uh, just ahead of B... IBGP, we have external routes from EIGRP. Excellent. Okay, so now let's keep things fair by eliminating router EIGRP1 and this part of the competition. Router 
no router EIGRP1. You need to eliminate it. Yes. And no router EIGRP2. And interface F1 slash 0, we're going to shut that. So when we do our connected alls, that interface won't show up. Next up in the competition is RIP. Router RIP ver2 network 0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0.0. No auto. And an R2 router RIP ver2 no auto we will need a network statement 0.0.0.0, .0 and on r1 network 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and let rip rip do show ip route and there we there we have it didn't have much competition it was just bgp and that and that head to head but now we're going to bring on OSPF, OSPF at 110, router, OSPF 1, network 0 .0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0, 0.0.0.0, area 0, R2, router, OSPF 1, network 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0, 0 0.0.0.0, area 0. Now, when we look at the routing table, do show IP route, you're going to see some stiff competition still from router rip. Once OSPF finally converges, OSPF is a little out of shape lately. Still waiting. Oh, yes. There it is. Let's see some O's. Well, we're not going to get O's yet because... Right. We need to leave the other one on. There it is. Okay. Now we have both O's. So, the, the situation here is... Two routes are being advertised. One's a slash 32 and one's a slash 24. OSPF will treat a loopback address as a stub network, which means it'll be a slash 32 unless we give it some help. So interface F uh, loopback zero IP OSPF network point to point. There we go, and on two. Interface, loopback zero, IP OSPF interface, point to point. IP OSPF network point to point. I do need a new keyboard. <laughs> okay, there we go. Do show IP route, and now it should bury rip. And there it ha you have it right there. Okay. Uh, next is EIGRP back again. Okay, EIGRP, here we go. Router EIGRP1 network 0 .0 0.0.0.0. No auto. Back in the game. Router EIGRP1. 1 network 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. No auto. And look how fast he comes in. Okay. 
do show IP route should put OSPF to bed. And there you have it. And notice the 90 administrative distance. That's good. Uh, next we have EBGP. All right. No router BGP 100. Make life easy. No router BGP 100. Router BGP 100. Neighbor 192.168.12.2. Remote AS 200. Network 1.1.1.0. Mask 255.255.255.0. On to R2, router, BGP 200, neighbor, 192.168.12.1, remote, AS 100. Network, 2.2.2.0, mask, 255.255.255.0. All right, coming right up. So do show IP route. Give it a chance here. And it should take the lead. Do show IP BGP sum. It should be good to go. Do show IP route. Not yet. There it is, finally. All right. External BGP at, at coming in at 20. And the EIGRP, EIGRP summary, let's talk about that for a second. If you're summarizing, let's say, from R2 to R1, you will not see the administrative distance of 5 in either R2 or R1's routing table. In R1's routing table, you're going to see 90. And in R2's routing table, you're going to see null 0. But I challenge you to to find a way to get the AD of, of 5 into either the routing table of the summarizing routers uh, table or the receiving routers table. Uh, I can't seem to find a, a way to get that in. I've even done IP summary address, EIGRP, AS number, uh, address subnet mask with the five appended at the end and it, it you still just get null zero in the routing table of the summarizing router but if you can find a way please uh email me rtech underscore 2015 at outlook.com you found a solution send a video and i'll feature it here on the site so anyway con continuing with static which we know is going to be Everybody so far, IP route 2.2.2.0, 255.255.255.0, using 192.168.12.2, and over to R2, IP route 1.1.1.0, 255.255.255.0. There we go. Using 192.168.12.1. And our static should take hold to show IP route. And there you have it. The static wins. And to check the directly connected, we'll just do do show IP route. 192.168.12.0. And again, the distance is zero for the directly connected and wins the competition hands down. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you got something out of it. And see you next time on CCIE or die.com. Thanks.